Right. And Mr. Speaker, I will yield two minutes. The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul. Gentleman from Texas, recognize. Uh, I thank the gentlelady for yielding. I ask unanimous consent to revise and extend Without the remarks. Objection. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of the rule, but in opposition to H.R. 3682, the Child Custody Protection Act, because it is seriously flawed. Although well motivated, the pro problem we're dealing with is the breakdown of the American family, respect for life, and abortion, not too much freedom to travel between states. Having delivered nearly 4,000 babies in my three decades of medical practice and having seen the destructiveness of abortion, I strongly agree that legalized abortion is the most egregious of all current social policies. It clearly symbolizes the moral decline America has experienced in the last 30 years. However, federal law restricting interstate travel, no matter how well intended, will serve no useful purpose, will not prevent abortions, and indeed will have many unintended consequences. It's ironic that if this bill is passed into law, it will go into effect at approximately the same time that the Department of Transportation will impose a national ID card on all Americans. This bill only gives the federal government and big government proponents one more reason to impose the national ID card on all of us. So be prepared to show your papers as you travel about the U.S. You may be transporting a teenager. There is already a legal vehicle for dealing with this problem. Many states currently prohibit adults from taking underage teenagers across state lines for the purpose of marriage, and states have reciprocal agreements respecting this approach. This is the proper way to handle this problem. Most importantly, this bill fails to directly address the cause of the problem we face regarding abortion which is the absurdity of our laws permitting the killing of an infant one minute before birth or even during birth and a doctor getting paid for it while calling the same action murder one minute after birth. The solution will ultimately come when the federal government and federal courts get out of the way and allow states to protect the unborn. If that were the case, we wouldn't have to consider dangerous legislation like this with the many unforeseen circumstances. And I yield back. Gentleman yields back the balance is done. Gentlewoman from North Carolina. 